Morgan. I'm sorry. This changes everything. What do you do, Morgan? You want me to decide? I never said that. <laughs> of course your companionship would do much to ease my journey, but it's going to be so dangerous. I have you and two knights to protect me. <laughs> You'll come? Are you sure? Thank you! She just, like, takes words out of your mouth, man. Ella wouldn't Hector do it, too, so... But once again, but yes, once again, for your friendship and your aid. Yeah, but I actually like them. I hate Lynn. <laughs> okay. A small altar lies on the outskirts of Bulgar. This ancient temple, sacred to the people of Sake, has long been known for its powerful bond to the world's spirits. Before starting their journey, our travelers come here to pray for their well-being. At this altar, Lin's hand is directed to a grand inheritance. Chapter 2, Sword of Spirits Morgan, hold a moment, and allow me to allow me a short detour. There's a sacred star enshrined in an altar east of here. The people of Sake go there to pray for safety at our onset. It was a long journey. Oh, how quaint! The teachings of Elamin have most followers and have the most followers in the lead. It is nice to see that here at least the ancient customs are still observed. Old man, stay where you are and hold your tongue. Threaten me as you will, but I'll not give up the Manicati. Hi. <laughs> the Manicati is a sacred blade under divine protection. <laughs> it cannot be removed from its place of rest. You're a fool, old man. What good's a sword if you don't use it? It in combat? Sacrilege! Please. Sacrilege? <laughs> you know... <laughs> Sacrilege? I am glass. The gods fear my name. My sword play is peerless. And if I want this sword, then this sword I shall have. Now get out of my way. Oof. You know, I would be afraid of a guy named Glass. This is it. It's more magnificent than I'd imagine. This sword is made for a swordsman of my skill. Huh? What's this? I can't draw the sword from its scabbard. Weakling. The spirits of the blade have judged you. You have been found wanting. They have rejected you. What? Listen, you senile old fool, if you value your own life, you'll get out of my sight. Yeah, beat it. Curses. Miserable spirits. I care nothing for you. I'll tear this altar down, stone by stone. I beg your pardon, my lady. Are you headed east to the altar? Yes, we are indeed. Then you must hurry and help the priest there. I saw a band of local ruffians heading there not too long ago. They seemed intent on stealing the Elder's sacred sword! The Manicotti. They're going to steal it. I cannot allow this to happen! He looked at the virtuous group. Please help him. Lindus, what are you planning? If you hope to go to the priest's aid, you'll need to prepare. You're right. Say, Morgan. There's some homes to the south of us. Perhaps we should go there and question the residents. Do I have to do that? Yeah, you can go to the home spaces and speak to them, but unless they have a red roof, you're not getting anything out of it except for information. Shall I take the lead? Alright. Tell me what you'd like me to do, Morgan. We're not going to the houses. No, I don't! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you want me to visit that home? Right? I understand. Ugh. Fine. Say, aren't you the... Oh, you're going to help the priest! Well, perhaps you could benefit from something I saw earlier. The dances may have the main entrance guarded. However, one of the altar walls is cracked. An important pair. You might be able to create another entrance by hitting that section with your weapons. We're all counting on you. I wonder if that lady knows she's a twin sister. <laughs> or it might have been the same woman, who knows. I don't want to. Anyway, this was the wall in question. I'm next, uh, am I'm I? Next. Oh, well, I'm ready to go. Mountains make it more difficult to hit, but they're difficult to traverse. If you're riding on horseback, you can't cross them at all. Be careful. Yes, I know they possess the ability to move again. I know that. I don't have any Pegasi or women yet. Pegasi or women. Pegasi or wyverns. Yep. I'll send Kate in a minute. <laughs> These are the mountains in question. Mountain terrains cannot be crossed by units with horseback. Or er, unpromoted horse. <laughs> unpromoted horseback units, like cavaliers. Okay. I'm next to move, am I not? I wait your command. Much about the sword help the altar. Call the Manikati, blessed by the spirits. According to the priest, the Manikati is waiting for its rightful owner to appear. It's so odd, don't you think? The idea that a sword can choose who will wield it. Yeah, that was helpful. Yeah. Know something about fortresses. They offer more protection than woods. Yeah, yeah. And, oh yeah, they also allow injured units to regain hit points, and sometimes units can spawn out of them. The thing is, <laughs> while the map looks kind of small, you actually have to imagine that it's a lot bigger than it is. Like, this forest is actually a lot bigger than three trees. Like, the square is a few miles. Pretty much. Or, maybe not that big, but you get the idea. Make sure your swords are equipped. And Kent, go attack. No, oh, wait, you're Sane. Sane, go attack. Yeah, Sane. Atow! Atow. Oh, gonna attack Kent. Well, that's good, because he needs to, to get to level 2 here. Oh, boy. Well, at least he got one skill. That's better than getting none, which can happen. This chapter's goal is to seize the throne. Yep. We've done this kind of chapter before. Oh good, the game answers quiz questions for me. <laughs> okay, so I haven't really talked about the enemy units, but we have brigands, which are usually enemy only. They tend to have good strength, and decent speed, and high HP, but that's about it. Mercenaries are very well-rounded classes. They will get just about good stats in just about everything except for resistance and sometimes luck and defense. Lin can't even reach the wall yet. Sane does more damage to it, so... Yeah, the wall has health, but it doesn't have defense either, so... Triangle is against Sane now, and he has taken some more damage. 
But he looks fine for now. He just needs to heal up a little. Finish this guy off. Get him out of the way. She hits level three. That was pretty good. Okay, Kent, break the wall. Break the walls down. Insane, get to work. You turned out pretty good so far, so... And attack! Oh. Yes, attack limb. That will go well. Boop! <laughs> he's still alive, but now he's dead. Okay, well, I will have the knights deal with the mercenary, because lances beat swords, and Lin can go face this guy. Who do you think you are? What chance do you think you have against me? A well, fairly decent chance, I'd say. Wouldn't be surprised if Sane can kill you right now. Like that. You. You. Dead. Yeah, he's he's very dead. And at this point in time, I'm sure you're happy. Oh yeah, sometimes enemies drop items. But at this time, it's looking like I might be using Sane. Yeah, Sane! There's a ton of units in the game, so... And it's all kind of luck-based, so who knows what'll happen. Yeah, we've looked at the item page. And it doesn't glow yellow, it glows green. Ow, Lin. Oh, well. <laughs> Critical. Good. That worked out well. Oh, and I can get right to the throne. Seize that throne and... Ah, your clothing. Are you one of the Lorca tribe? I'm Lynn, the chieftain's daughter. Are you hurt, sir? Thanks to you, I'm unscathed. You have my gratitude. And the sword? Is it safe? Yes, I've sealed the sword safely away. Until I remove my spell, the sword cannot be drawn. And as a token of my gratitude, I shall allow you to lay hands upon the many copy. Ooh! Touch the blade's pattern and pray for a safe journey. Oh, thank you so much! You had to touch a sword, what you do? Hmm? What? Did... The sword is glowing! Ah, hmm. It's the power of the spirits. Lin, they have looked into your soul and they call out to you. What did that mean? You are its rightful owner. You are to wield the Manikati. No, I can't. I couldn't. It is the sword's wish. If you require proof, draw it from its sheath. Um... It came out effortlessly. I never dared to hope that I might meet the wielder of the Manikati in my life. I am indeed fortunate to see your sword reach your hands. My sword? It is time for you to go, Lin. You face a great many ordeals. Grip this sword and meet your destiny head on. Yes, yes, sir. 
Cut the money, Cotty. Cotty. So this is the money, Cotty. A blade with no equal. This is so unbelievable. Perhaps the most famous sword of all sake in my hands. It's not so strange. In fact, many legends tell similar tales. Special yep. blades all over the lands call out to their proper owners. And yet, when I saw you draw that blade, Lilith, I felt something extraordinary. That sword was waiting for you. You were meant to draw it. Stop it! I... I'm nothing special. Think of it this way. Some weapons feel more comfortable in your hand, right? Well, the Manikati itself feels very comfortable with you. Does this make it any easier for you to accept? It doesn't appear that either of us can use it. It does feel right in my hand. A way that only I can wield. That seems reasonable enough. I can understand that. Look at it, Morgan. This is the Manikati. This my sword. I must care for it well. Meanwhile, at Castle Kaelin... What? Madeline's daughter is still alive? Uh, yes, Lord Lundgren. The girl is traveling with Kent and Sane. What are your orders? If we let them be... Ah, I've heard that Northern Burn is full of bandits. She's just a girl. She'll not survive her journey here. I'm more concerned with my older brother. His life must be ended quickly. The poison. There must be no blunders. Yes, my lord. He suspects nothing and continues to drink it. The Marcus's death, due no doubt to sudden illness, is not far off. <laughs> Soon. Soon Kaelin will be mine.